coming to you in 4K. The first leap of the day. Hey, that actually runs. That's pretty nice. Abuja? What? Let me see. Wait, maybe it's Canada. Nigeria. So today we are at Joe Makari Service Center and we're gonna check out the dealership in a bit, but I'll be filming this entire day in 4K. We'll see how the quality goes and how long the processing and the uh, export, rendering and import, upload, all that stuff. We'll see how the workflow is with 4k hopefully it's not too bad but let me know if you guys see any difference in quality man if this was like an american service center they would have fucking kicked this out within like five seconds but this is a really nice loft man It's a legit old school photo. XJ220. Blue F40. MC12 599 GTO. This is nice. All carbon Enzo. Let's see. Courier GT, GT3 RS. Look at that photo up there. It's really bothering me. The 430 panning shot. That's like the worst. That MC12 looks sick where it's like half off track. You no, know, but that. F431 is like really shit. Ooh, Ferrari gear. Sick golf cart. My question is, what do they do up there? There's quite a few chairs and tables, but maybe to host like parties and stuff? Hmm. Detailing job on this MC12 is amazing. It's like perfect. No swore marks, no nothing. The front right here too. You can see the weave is just it's oh, it's like better yeah. than Pagani. Ooh, shots fired. Wait, let me see the Enzo uh, weave. Yeah. Very yellow. Yeah, a little bit. You can see, like, around here and stuff, it's just a little... Oh, it's a little dirty there, too. Not dirty, but, like, they weave. Just kind of... Zoom in on the weave. Oh. This thing is crazy, though. It's got red carpet inside, too. Yeah. Wait, where? Dude, isn't it like a isn't this like a zero Dino blue? It really looks like it. It looks like it. Basically. It's interesting. They put like silver between the stripes. Basically, that tool. I don't know. It's better. It's got Ooh, yellow stripes. That's true. And the wheels are different. I don't like these wheels. I'm more interested in this little joy thingy here. <laughs> Where do you say it was from? From uh, Dr. Who, the TV show. Oh yeah, Dr. Diddly Who. Dude, it's got blue carbon on the inside. Let me see, let me zoom in. Oh, oh the paddles, the steering wheel, oh. like the trim. That is sick. That is pretty sick. It's got like a little greenish, brownish tint in the sun. Oh, I don't know about this, man. Hopefully you can see it on camera, but it's definitely not like black carbon. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. If I move over here, it's a bit better. 
There you go. Because Alex told me to, I'm going to record this 250 Cali, and I'm over it. How do they? Yeah. How do they get those scooters up there? That's my question. Check out the color on this Ferrari. Dang. Check this shit out. This is straight out of America right here. Oh man. This is probably the weirdest location for a dealership. Middle of nowhere. Couple P1s. Super Ventura, here we go. Damn. There it is, Alex's photo on the wall. It's canvas print too. Oh look, it's even got his little, his watermark. Hmm. There's the Project 7 in the corner there. There's the Project 7 in the corner. Damn, that kind of looks good. Gander in the back here. Well, it says limited to a 15. I don't know if it's actually. Oh, God. I think it says, it says somewhere around. Hmm. CCX. Yeah. And the headlights. Nearly identical spec to the one in Carwick a few years ago. Ooh. Damn. Check out this M5. Painted matte blue. Damn. Snooper with. I think it's a radar detector in that CCX. Nice. This year, Grandma could hop in and drive down the street. That's true. Is Zonda, are you kidding me? That is a driver's car. It's you harder to drive, but... Yeah, that... I mean, that's... Right. It's a Pagani. So? That's C12 all you got. C12's a Pagani. That's yeah, all you I'd got. I'd rather have a C12 than this, too. Yeah. Really? Ow. No, are you kidding me? I would take this in a heartbeat over a C12. 
What is going on? Is this a real conversation? I'm walking away from this conversation. Okay, and I'm you can't drive in something. I don't care. Don't I'm recording this and you better yeah. have an S V Roadster and a C twelve Zonda. Absolutely. <laughs> I paid double for this. <laughs> Wow, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Big time Bornstein has gone crazy. Okay. It's those cat allergies. It's the cat, man. Yeah, that's what it we'll is. just let that we one slide. We past the fact that Zonda's a Zonda and think about the car itself. It doesn't matter. Does not, it, what do you mean it doesn't matter? Of course it matters. It's car over, like, the name behind the car. <coughs> you can't be led into the hype that it's a Zonda. Don't get me wrong. I love the new Zondas, but C12s. That's my take on it. That's his take. That's just me. But. Oh boy. That was a lot to take in. <laughs> Wait, they need a moment to process that. We're not having this discussion anymore. <laughs> we're, we're ending it right here before it gets... Yeah, before it before gets out of control. Out of control. Oh, man. <sighs> man. Ventino Roadster over... The SV Roadster. SV Roadster. And a Vector with a wing, basically. It's so a little bit more horsepower. If it were ownership, and someone just gave it the keys and said, here's... C12. On... No, not even. No way. Jaguar USA, give me a Project 7 for a week. You won't be disappointed. All right, we're leaving now. Out we go. Seems like a very authoritative uh, decision with the Zonda C12. It hands down Zonda, not one person has sentiments or SV Roadster. So the question was posed, which would you, was it drive or to own? To own. <laughs> to own <laughs> an <laughs> event store, SV Roadster or a Zonda C12? And everyone in this particular WhatsApp group chat said Zonda, except for one person. You said what you want? No. Adam? Oh, that yeah. person right there. The, the moment of truth, Adam has reviewed his opinion on what he would choose i take oh christ <laughs> what's wrong with you yeah this is live conversations happening uh-oh uh-oh